Monday does hit hard. It just kind of hits you out of the blue and you're not ready for it. And really being organized is just about being prepared. So the key, the weekly review is, um, be, is where you get yourself prepared, like mentally prepared, even if you don't get all the stuff pulled together and your planner page just right, you at least are mentally prepared and that's really the goal of the weekly review. So I have the steps really quickly. These are the steps from Work the Plan and they are capture, so that means pulling all those pieces, getting those wherever you leave notes to self. And you know what, your, your review day, you have to try a few things out. So you can't just like think about it in the abstract and know what your ideal day is going to be. You have to think of some options and maybe think out of the box, but try something. Try something and then get some feedback and say, okay, this is so, this didn't work because X, Y, Z. So I think I'll try this and just, I call it iterating. And so try something and then if it doesn't work, it's okay. You then look at why it didn't work and that helps you try something else that might work. And that's how you figure out what's going to work for you. Isn't just following the right set of instructions or, um, thinking it through so then you know the perfect solution just from your brain you know you have to think of some options pick one that sounds good try it out and then troubleshoot from there and iterate change change things up try things out figure out what works for you you're only going to figure out what works for you if you try something and then you um <laughs> and then you try to um make better changes from there, but you have some frame of reference for what changes you might need to make. And so I know often, so sometimes Mondays are a pastor's Saturday or day of rest or whatever, the day to kind of clean up afterwards and take a break. So you might even try Monday if that's, see if you can arrange your week to make Monday a, a down and or preparatory day for the week try it for a long time I actually took Mondays off of school we did a four um, a four day school week and most people do who do a four day school week take Friday off but I took Monday off because Sunday I don't know what happens to the house but it explodes <laughs> and the laundry explodes and I'm, I feel like I can't just start Monday morning for school so for a long time we took Mondays off of school so I could get get set and get moving so I don't know that might be an idea for you so capture is the first thing you pull all those pieces together and get them in front of you and then clear that's um, if being locked into a review time makes me feel trapped I think you might be in in a perfectionist mindset where you think okay I have, I'm going to choose my time and lock myself in there and I I have to make that work, but you don't have to. You have to pick something and do it, and um, then you have the option to change things up from there. Iterate. So don't feel trapped into making the perfect decision right off the bat, and then you have to stick with that. Make a decision, try it out, and then try something else if you don't like that, or if you uh, don't like monotonous routine there are some personality types that don't like doing the same thing at the same time all the time that's fine that's you so find something that works for you that might be choosing three options for a review time and picking one each week like I have I can have this window or this window or this window to do my weekly review and you know Friday my Friday window was clear so I did it Friday or my Friday window wasn't clear, so I still have two options left. I have backup plans. I've got plans in my back pocket. I can pull out this one. This one, this is the one that feels right this week. This is the one that's gonna work this week. You don't have to have the ex have it done at the exact same time. Like I said, I have this um, 
my ideal option is first thing Saturday morning, and I, I think it works out that way about half the time. But I have these backup options. So if that doesn't work, it's not like I've totally messed it up. Now I can't have a morning, now I can't have a weekly review. No, no. <laughs> um, I have these other backup second, you know, plan B options that I know, okay, I didn't, I didn't get up. It's not the end of the world. I don't have to beat myself up. I just have to do it at the coffee shop instead of writing, or I just have to stay up a little bit later tonight and do it tonight. You know, that sort of thing. Just roll with it. Roll with the punches. That's work the plan's motto. Work the plan, roll with the punches, and choose the right next thing. It's gotta work with real life. The third step is clarify. So that's where, so you've gathered the pieces, you've taken, you've uh, taken care of the things that you can take care of, then clarify is um, where you get clear on what you need to do in the coming week. What's important? What are your priorities going to be? Uh, I, there are some other pieces in that clarify step that I'm going to have to gloss on by because we got some actual troubleshooting going on back and forth. So that was better. Then the fourth step is connect. And that's where you connect your, you've thought through your week, you've seen all the pieces, you've done what you can. The final step is making that plan for next week in whatever form works for you. Maybe you have a task management app and an online calendar. Maybe you have a planner, maybe you bullet journal. If you bullet journal, then your connect piece would be writing out your spread for the week. Um, so what what is actually happening, your reality of what you're doing in the connect step depends on what your planning system is. There are all kinds of planning systems that can work if you do the work of working them. And that's what work the plan is all about. So the connect piece is just taking those ideas and the pieces that you've gathered and thought about and then getting them where you can see them and act on them in the middle of the week. So, and the, the steps, there are the same steps in the Simplified Organization course, but there are five in there just because I broke up one. Um, or Well, really, I had five to start with, and for work the plan, I condensed it down to four just by combining two, and I used P words instead of C words. But it's the same process, um, the weekly review. So I really, really recommend it. If you haven't been able to get a planning routine going that really helps your life move forward consistently, don't worry about your co consistency in each of these little pieces or the whole huge system. Oh, yay! <laughs> don't worry about consistency on everything all at once or on some little piece of the system. If you really want to work on consistency, then it's it's the weekly review that you need to focus in on because being consistent there, the consistency focused there will, um, what's the right word, emanate out. It will spread out from there like circles in a puddle. So if you focus in on consistency there that's where you're going to reap the biggest benefits everywhere else it can build out from there better than any other piece focusing in on any other piece or on tr definitely not on trying to do it all perfectly straight from the get-go um i'll tell you that's a recipe for disaster been there done that doesn't doesn't work so i think i'm gonna have to um leave and get dinner on the table, <laughs> work the plan, roll with the bunches, choose the right next thing. The right next thing for me is making dinner. So, so I hope that was helpful and I'm going to be adding this to my YouTube channel and you can find out more about weekly review on my Simplified Organization blog, simplifiedorganization.com. You can search weekly review and find um, several other posts and resources that I have for that. So thanks. Thanks, Don.